the reason that we put that intertriginous IgA score into this study is that was an area where we had the most need. Topical steroids work very well on the elbows and the knees. There is some drawback in using topical steroids on those sites because psoriasis is a chronic disease and if you use a steroid chronically, you are going to get cutaneous atrophy, you'll get telangiectasia, but in the groin, the armpits, the area between the buttocks, that's where you really get in trouble uh, with, uh, with um, topical steroids. Uh, the genitals, for example. If you get cutaneous atrophy in the genitals, it makes sexual relations difficult uh, because of the atrophied skin. Uh, if you apply topical steroids to the axillae or to the, uh, the uh, inguinal areas, you're going to end up with stretch marks So, uh, in many patients. Uh, and that's why having a non-steroid in those sites is valuable, and that's why a measurement for those areas, the intertriginous IgA, is an important endpoint.